Hello Monstream fans and welcome back to another Monstream OCD video. Today we are going to review the Dirt Squad Mix 1 packs by Spin Master Monster Jam. Well, welcome back everyone, finally, to another Spin Master Monster Jam review video. I completely apologize for the lack of videos for Spin Master. Lots of things have been happening around the world, and that's led to things being delayed on my channel because of it. I know that stores, some stores I should say, have received these already. You may have actually bought them yourselves, but I am still going to review the things that are out in stores because not only have I not received them personally, but also some stores, or I should say many stores, still have yet to see them. So they're technically still new. But these are the Dirt Squad trucks. And these trucks are obviously track uh, construction vehicles. So they are, you know, set up that way. This one's a uh, steamroller. This one, um, I think it's called an excavator. And then we have a typical kind of a big mouth uh, bulldozer here. These are more geared towards the children side of this line. So not the collectors, but I have seen collectors getting them even though they said they weren't going to. In the end, they decided to pick them up. And actually, I wasn't going to review these until I saw them on store shelves. And I said, you know what? Those are actually pretty cool. So I decided that I will be reviewing Dirt Squad uh, vehicles. And this is mix one. Um, I can't confirm if there's another mix, but there is a mix one code on the box itself. So I would say that there probably will be another mix or so of these trucks um, to come out. So it'll probably be different than these ones you see here. But the Dirt Squad, this is mix one, three vehicles come in the Dirt Squad. They are $5.99 a piece, so $5.99 in the United States. I think these will be going international. Um, they might have already gone international. I'm not sure. I can't remember. There's been a lot going on. But we're actually going to start here today with the Scoops one. Uh, that's Roland, the orange one, and then in the back was Diggs. Uh, and like I said, they are geared towards the children market. So they have, uh, they're kind of like a, almost like a dinosaur. Uh, they have faces on them, but the rest of the vehicle is pretty much standard to a real, uh, or like a real construction vehicle. And I think they're pretty cool. So here's the back of the box. This one has uh, scoops, uh, which is towing Megalodon. And you can see it says used with monster dirt made by the makers of kinetic sand. I'll stop talking. This is Scoops, the first one of the Dirt Squad for 2020 unboxing right now. And that was totally anticlimactic. Uh, the blue actually is off on this side. I guess I'll just, there we go. It wasn't that big of a deal. All right, here we go, Scoops. All right, and here is Scoops, the first one of our Dirt Squad and I must say, again, like I will keep repeating, these are definitely much different than the originals. And I am much happier with the final product. I'm super excited to actually be reviewing these. These originally were not going to be reviewed on my channel. I really didn't want to go down the kids route of the, the actual line itself, you know, pure kids marketing things. But I think these are actually really, at the end of the day, they're marketed for most ages. Um, I can see a lot of my friends, and I know they are doing this, using these for their track displays and stuff. Even though they're cartoony, they still have that realistic quality of a normal construction vehicle. Uh, and then, of course, the kids aspect comes in with the faces and the monster-like appearance. But they're still really cool. They're very well built as well. And, you know, they're, they're these big vehicles. They're actually larger than the typical 164 scale truck. And if I were to compare it, on the back of the box, it's towing Megalodon. So I'll compare it to Megalodon. Uh, the BKTs are actually sized up for these vehicles. And that makes sense because these are towing these, these monster trucks. So they therefore have to be bigger. Although it really shows they're not. But for or, you know track displays and stuff usually like i used to do when i was way younger i used to use the hot wheels tow trucks and i would take two tow trucks because the wheels are so big but now they've actually sized up the vehicle that does the towing to tow a monster truck so therefore the tires are a little bigger and the rims as well i like that they went and sized up the tires for these and also you'll notice a little tow hitch on the back it does tow it i believe just like this or um I'm trying to learn exactly where you actually tow it from. It'll pretty much hang on in most spots. I thought you were supposed to tow it in the middle where the actual screw is. Um, I guess it works that way too. You can kind of tow it above, but most kids I think will be towing it from the middle part so that it's actually rolling the wheels around. But it's super cool. Once you learn how to do it, I think it's maybe supposed to go in the middle of the axle area. Um, but yeah, it tows it around pretty well. I mean, it's very functional. It has different swaying motions and that's the 164 scale 
monster truck towing feature. And then of course the truck itself or the monster or the vehicle, I'm not sure what to call these. The vehicle itself has a bunch of different features. One thing I wanna point out, this is kind of the collector's side of thing and things I point out. Um, these do have yellow Monster Jam logos. This is something that Spinmaster has not done yet. So these are actually different than the normal 164 skills, which usually use the gray logo. So that's something they differentiated with these. They use yellow logos, although it's impossible to tell. On this one, it is yellow, but it's blending in. You'll see it definitely on Diggs, the green one, and Roland, the orange one, the difference in the color of the Monster Jam logo. There's also a lot of detail on this cab. Each cab so far that I've noticed are different. And we have the construction tape. We have a warning symbol. I think, yeah, it's the same on both sides. Uh, very limited decals, but I think that it's okay. These probably won't have a lot of decals in the future either if they make more. Um, they're pretty plain looking vehicles because construction vehicles really don't have a lot of, you know, flair to them. They're just very plain vehicles. So I see why they did it that way. And then it has a windshield, which actually is a windshield. Um, it's tinted, pretty dark. And I uh, actually took off one of these bodies um, before I went back on camera. And inside here is just the screw. There's no seat or anything. Uh, it's just the screw, it sticks straight up. And basically it's just the windshield inside there. So that's why they tinted it really dark so you can't see that. But if you were curious and wanted to know what's inside of there, it's just a very dark tinted um, area where there's a screw inside to carry the cab or hold it down. So uh, that's the curiosity. If you guys want to open it up though, there is just a single screw inside that little square right there. Also, you'll notice it has half of a roll cage, very similar, but not the same as the Monster Jam roll cages. It does not have the headers here, of course, and it looks like um, same amount of shocks. They have two shocks, um, but something's different. Oh, they cut down, it looks like they cut down the uh, actual uh, bar. The wheelie bar is not there, so they cut it down to be just flat. And uh, we have a Monster Jam logo hidden on the bottom of the roll cage like normal. And then you'll notice the mechanical uh, pin here that actually allows this thing to sway back and forth right there. And then we have a gray half of a chassis of a Monster Jam truck. And then four BKT tires with their rims. And then of course that swaying motion comes from that little pin. And then we have the giant scooper uh, mouth here as part of the monster face. You can see the eyes, the teeth, these spikes on the front here. Uh, I don't think these are supposed to be modeled after any specific animals. Obviously, these look like monsters, so I don't think they are supposed to be anyway. And then we have a painted hydraulic uh, arm right here that controls this. And then it actually has a bunch of different features. One, it lifts up, so that's pretty cool. And it actually locks into place. Uh, I noticed that it tends to fall down over time, but it does lock into place for a long enough time to be using it. Normally, kids are probably going to be grabbing it from the top anyway and moving it around. And then we have a feature that actually allows the bed or the actual, not the bed, the uh, mouth itself or the scooper itself to be locked into place. Now, these will not move. When they're locked in with the actual function of the mouth movement, it will stay in place. So you can see it dumps and then it can pick it up and hold it in its mouth. So it'll hold it in its mouth pretty well. And I do have the Kinetic Sand Monster Dirt uh, to show you guys. I wasn't gonna do this because Monster Dirt uh, likes to make a mess in my studio, but this stuff's great if you have it in a contained area. Uh, and if we look here, the actual mouth will carry a significant amount of Monster Dirt. So you could put a lot in there. Um, if I were to be able to move this, it's pretty cold in my house and this stuff kind of gets stiff in the uh, cold weather. But um, yeah, it, it can hold a pretty decent amount of monster dirt, almost the entire refill pack in its mouth. Or I should say actually half of a refill pack can fit in the scooper mouth uh, for scoops. And then um, I don't think it'll, well, I guess if you shake it, it'll fall back out of the mouth. Yeah, well, oh, flew over there. But uh, yeah, so it does have a lot of functions for monster dirt. Uh, in addition to its normal functions as a truck. And then also it has the towing ability for 164 scale die cast trucks. So that's awesome. I really, again, like these trucks. I'll keep this on the side for future use in the rest of this review, but this is Scoops. I, again, highly recommend them. So now we will check out the Diggs monster truck. And the back of the box shows Diggs towing Max D. And you can see it's actually dumping out uh, monster dirt kinetic sand right there. So Diggs with a Z. Here we go unboxing right now. And here it is, the Diggs Monster Truck, the green flashy color. I love this one. The lime green paint job is awesome. And you can see that yellow Monster Jam logo like I referenced earlier, very prominent on the side of this. And we have a, a similar, I think the same exact decal with the construction tape. And underneath we have that warning symbol. And you'll notice the cab is different. This time it has a step ladder up to the cab. It has a dual uh, sunroof area up there. And then it has two or side windows and then a big windshield in the front. 
and uh, you'll notice the tow hitch again, which I believe in the picture, it tows around Max D, so I'll tow around Max D in my studio. Uh, it kind of turned around. Um, I'll tow it from the front, actually. Um, I'm sure there's a method of doing this. I just haven't learned it yet. Okay, well, it flipped back over. Anyway, it'll tow the 164 scales uh, like normal. It's the exact same casting as the previous one had, and this thing will lock into place pretty well. And it has the same amount of tires. Roland has only two tires. That's why I keep saying that, but you can see four tires, same uh, roll cage mold, same chassis mold with the pin in the bottom to allow this to sway back and forth. The only real difference is the cab and the actual arm itself. So this is the excavator. Uh, it's called Diggs. It has a very funny looking face. It almost looks like it's trying to get into your business there, looking at you. It's actually probably my favorite one, if not Roland is, but this one's pretty funny looking. And uh, the actual function, the mouth will lock into place. So it has three uh, positions. It has the fully closed uh, halfway point and then the full mouth. Uh, so you can dip it down, kind of grab it and then shut the mouth. Um, yeah, it actually does a pretty good job of doing that. Wow. Uh, so yeah, it, it'll lock it into place and it'll hold the monster dirt there until you open the mouth up. And then, uh, I guess actually I should have done that. Um, you can just dump it out. So that's actually the best functioning one so far. This digs is really cool and you can see the face is pretty subtle on it. Although it's, it's, um, it's not hard to see the monster part of it. It still has a pretty subtle face. It looks exactly like an excavator besides the eyes on the side, but these could be headlights technically. And this little flare here is really the only part that makes this a monster. If you didn't have the headlights that look like eyeballs, I don't think you could tell it's a monster from that. So I like this, it's a very subtle one. And it has um, a pretty good functioning uh, mechanic of the actual arm going up and down. It has about three positions to lock into place, one, two, and three and then the same with the mouth has three positions and it has a painted hydraulic system uh, kind of a hydraulic system right there on the bottom so digs is very cool and the best functioning one that we've found so far in this review so anyway that's the digs truck and we are now going to look at the final one of this review which is the steamroller roland and the back of the card has roland i believe yes with grave digger and uh we'll tow grave digger in just a moment so here goes roland the unboxing for it right now And here it is, the last truck of the Mix 1 assortment for the Dirt Squad trucks. We have the Roland, the steamroller for this assortment. And I'm assuming that it'll do a good job of rolling out the monster, but we will test down in just a moment. But I'm going to show you guys the towing feature since I have done it for all the trucks. The Grave Digger was being towed on the last package for Roland. So we will do this one with Grave Digger. And uh, I'm not sure how well it's gonna do. Well, it's doing pretty well uh, because it doesn't have all four of those tires, but it has the big roller in the front. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. So far, Diggs was the only one who actually dropped the truck. But um, this actually has to be pushed to be uh, swayed around. Um, it's a lock in place one. So uh, this is a little different, but yeah, it does a pretty good job towing the Grave Digger Monstrum truck. And now we have the actual vehicle itself. So this one is actually my favorite of the color selection. I love orange and this is a really bright, a dark orange actually like a kind of a contrast to each other but it's a very solid orange color i love that and you can definitely see the mushroom logo in yellow on there we have a way different setup this time we still have the same chassis and roll cage the different cab it has a little more detail than the digs cab had it does not have a step ladder it has a step right here but no step ladder so it's a different cab casting again it actually wraps around the bottom here uh the metal itself wraps around the bottom and then we have the tow hitch which is the same casting as uh, all of the other ones have had and uh dark orange rims to match the color matching here is really good sometimes it's not perfect but this is almost perfect to the pink color and then we have this giant steamroller piece here replacing the two setups that usually would go here which would be two uh, wheels with BKTs but this is now its own setup and the plastic wheel we have the face very another very subtle one I think that if you took away this horn here and these two horns and maybe flatten out these teeth these could be passable as headlights and I think that it wouldn't be a monster at that point so anyway not a bad mold this one's pretty cool too and then we have the guards on the side holding in this wheel and uh, anyway let's test it out let's see if it actually can flatten out monster dirt I'm a little skeptical of this one I'll put it a little layer not a super thick layer but a thin one and see if it can do it so let's go this way um I guess I can hold it here and try it. Yeah, I mean, actually, it's doing a pretty good job. It's doing a level uh, work job of this stuff. I guess like a, kind of like a rolling pin. Um, 
Yeah, it's actually working well. Wow. I guess that I should not have doubted them. They did lots of testing on these things over a long period of time. So I don't know why I'm really surprised by this, but I'm genuinely happy that it actually can roll out the monster dirt to be even consistency. So that's sick. You can definitely do this with your tracks. If you have tracks at home, uh, you can definitely lay out the monster like that. Check that out. It's like a little pizza uh, or a pancake or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's very thin and it got even consistency. And I think that is the coolest one. Definitely the coolest one. Uh, Diggs is awesome and it does a great function with its actual uh, excavator qualities. But uh, this one surprised me. But uh, yeah, this is the first time I tested it with you guys and uh, actually ever. And it did a phenomenal job. That is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, these things have definitely grown on me and I am very happy with the quality, the price point. $5.99, that's really low. These should be about $8.99. After you factor in all the engineering and the casting work and all the stuff that went into these, these are only $5.99 in the United States. So I see these as a potentially big thing in the future. I really hope that they will continue to do new ones of these. Um, I would stay away from repeating. Um, if I had to suggest something to Spin Master, I would try to limit repeats. Um, that means color repeats or any type of re-release of these. I think that they should continue making new castings uh, for these. Um, I, I have a feeling at some point, maybe next year or the future, or if they even continue doing these, there will likely be color repeats. But at the end of the day, I think that once you get one of these, uh, they will definitely change the way you do your Monster Dirt uh, track setups forever. I think these are the coolest things that I have ever seen a diecast company make. And that was not my verdict last time I saw these. And now that I actually have them and have had hands-on review and, you know, playtime with them, I think that they are phenomenal. And I want to applaud whoever thought of this idea and sculpted them and came up with the engineering behind them. Awesome job. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to Natalie Camden and Chad Weaver, who actually sent me another set of the Monster Dirt Dirt Squad trucks uh, before I got these from Spin Master. They were already planning on sending them to me. I did not use theirs for my review, but I want to thank them so much from the bottom of my heart. They're awesome. Some of my favorite people to see at shows. Uh, those guys are awesome. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for sending in trucks, regardless of the fact that I had got them the same day that they had decided to pick them up for me. But you guys are just beyond awesome. Thank you. And before I sign out, I also wanted to give a shout out to my friend down in Australia, Tylan. Thank you for watching my videos, Tylan Norman. Shout out to you. Your dad wanted to give you a shout out and uh, thank you for watching my videos. I heard that you love watching my videos. So thank you so much. Shout out to you and shout out to the other people I mentioned. And of course, shout out to Team Spin Master for sending these trucks in for review. I appreciate them helping me out. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the Dirt Squad Mix 1 trucks in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Runner Monster Mo CD signing out.